Hey Siri. What is love? As I understand it, love is a tender, ineffable feeling of affection and solicitude. <laughs> As I understand it, love refers to a deep, tender, ineffable feeling of affection and solicitude. Thank you, Siri. Good. <laughs> but that's really quite, um, quite amazing, right? We, we look at our life and we look at our surroundings and we look for a definition of, of what love is, really. And my whole life was, was really based on that, if I, if, I, if I look at it in my experience, looking for love and being taught all of my life that there's this thing called love. There's this thing called love <laughs> in all of the songs. <laughs> That's, that has to be a lyric, right? I, I don't know what song it is, but... Crazy little thing called love. This thing called love. Okay, we have lots of... Uh, <laughs> And uh, we have all of the different love songs going on now in the, in the audience. Thousands upon thousands of love songs. Every morning I'd probably hear at least, yeah, so how many times have you heard a love song? <laughs> if as soon as you hear any song, it's got something to do about love and it's probably got some kind of definition like you, you heard in, in this uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, some kind of trying to, to, to describe what this is. And also what I found was a common, a common uh, theme was that it, it's, it's in someone or something. It's, it's over there. It's uh, something that you need to strive to, that you need to strive towards, that you need to get and hold on to that you need to base your whole life around it, really. And, and so this was day after day after day, really, repetitively. And if I look at my experience, it, it, it's in incessant, really. There's this, this thing called love, and you need to get it. You need to base your whole life about getting it. <laughs> And so that's what I did. I did my best at that. And, and so I was looking for that feeling, that sensation, that thought, that group of thoughts. I was looking for it in people, places and things. I was looking for it in intimate relationships. I was looking for it in my job, in my uh, friends and family, my career, my, uh, in money and all of these different areas. And at times this feeling and sensation of what love is, what complete fulfillment is, was there and I could, yeah, confirm, okay, good, I'm, I'm on the right track, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm following all the, all the instructions correctly. This love feeling is, is humming. And then what happens? The negative thoughts come in. The negative sensations, the negative emotions, this cannot be love. I have to immediately look for it somewhere else. And so what is completely radical in this training is that we find complete fulfillment in each and every moment. We get to know ourselves exactly as we are. We get to know every thought, emotion and sensation as the shining forth of perfect love. And to know what perfect love is to know what open intelligence is in your experience. Just stop thinking just for a moment. And what remains? What remains when you stop thinking? There's this clarity, alertness, this brightness. This is what we call open intelligence and it's synonymous with perfect love. And so if I was told that, <laughs> so many years ago then I would have had a lot more time on my hands <laughs> back then 
my decisions would have been completely different, completely different. My activities, my speech. And so what happens in this training is we, we share a simple, a simple practice which is, which is short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes always obvious. And that's just recognizing that this perfect love is always present in your direct experience right now. That bright clarity about you has inherent, embedded, that perfect love of self, that perfect love inseparable. So like the color blue is inseparable from the sky, it's just embedded, embedded into each and every perception is this perfect love. It may not feel or like that or maybe you, it, it doesn't seem like it can be possible. But what starts to happen is this spontaneous self-release of each and every thought, emotion and sensation. We just call that data streams. This spontaneous self-release of each and every data stream is completely amazing, is humming with perfect love. So you can check it out now as you sit here experiencing thoughts, emotions and sensations as you notice all of your, your perceptions arising and, and resolving naturally like a line drawn in water. See how effortless it is. See how all of that energy that I had once used to then label and describe is now open, completely open and free, vast without any borders, like the sky. And so this is what we, what we see in our natural experience is mind is open and clear, open and free like sky. Are your thoughts still self-releasing? <laughs> Vanishing naturally? It's amazing to, to feel totally complete in each and every moment. Totally complete and focusing on that great completion in each and every moment means that I all of my friends and family were completely free to, from needing to attend to my data streams, from needing to give me that loving feeling again. In those close relationships that you know, once gave you that loving feeling, putting all of the, the blame and effort onto them. Why aren't you giving me that loving feeling again? Why aren't you giving me that loving feeling anymore? And so seeing that super completeness in each and every moment is the end to, to conflict. Complete end to that disharmonious relating. And that's certainly what we get, get really busy with in the 12 empowerments. A complete end to disharmonious relate, relating.